how to grow your business with purpose, how to grow your team, how to scale your business from zero to seven figures. That's the type of questions that I got asked in this podcast episode that I was interviewed uh, just a few weeks ago. And now I decided to share this recording and my answers to you on my own YouTube channel as well. So hope you enjoy this episode and um, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, so my name is Marianne Lehikoinen, which is hard <laughs> hard for you to pronounce probably because it's a Finnish name. So I'm originally from Finland and living in Lisbon and currently we help our clients to scale their online coaching businesses and online service businesses to six and seven figures and beyond. So that is what we do. We do it by helping them to get more sales and more clients. Yes, the best results that we've gotten was in the end of last year. We had this one woman and she had a team of two people already, like three founders, and they created this new premium offer. So we st always start by creating a premium offer because we can't help our clients to scale their businesses with like low priced services or products. So usually what our clients do, they are from $2,000 to even $20,000 the offers. So um, we helped this one uh, team to scale their business from literally from zero to a 95,000 euros. So it's, it's pretty much the same than dollars in sales in three weeks. So that is definitely like the biggest results and they have now continued working with us and are making five figures uh, per month still to this date after their first launch. So that is what we help our clients and what I've also done myself in, in business in the past few years. We started with uh, creating the premium offer first and that is like we don't really uh, get stuck with that like we do it in in a few days or in a few weeks maximum and we have our coaches so I'm not there doing that by myself like everything but we have a team of industry experts helping our clients with one-on-one -on -one, like un unlimited one-on-one -on -one support so that they will get feedback right away when they are working so that they don't need to think or guess if this works or not, but we have um, experts helping them move forward faster. So they created this premium offer first and before ever doing any market research or anything, they just started selling it. So the only way we see validation is through getting actual paying clients. So uh, our clients need to get at least five to 10 clients. And that is like our program outcome. And what we wish every client to have in the beginning is the five to 10 clients for their new premium offer so that it's validated that, okay, you are able to scale that if you have already gotten five to 10 clients for it. So that's what they did. And then they just started selling. So actually like the only thing that they did was um, organically through social media, looking for beta testers for their new program. So we frame it as like looking for beta testers in purpose because we want people to really not think that it's like something really expensive that they can't afford because when they learn that, okay, what the program is about, they are more likely to pay also the higher premium price of it. They just looked for leads from social media Actually, it only took like a couple of posts and they already got like their DMs filled with people asking like, okay, how can you help me? And then what they did, they didn't tell like all the details on DMs, but they actually converted these people to sales calls. And then we have this proven script that now like already hundreds of our clients have used. And we know that, okay, if you use this script, like you're going to close and convert clients with that. So then they just took those calls and converted like almost 40 clients with premium price points and that's how they did it. Uh, 
why I started this myself was because in 2020 I started uh, my current business. I actually started when I was 20 years old, so I was a little bit older than you are right now. I started when I was 20 as social media manager, then I quit that. I was also working full time at some point and graduated as Bachelor of Business Administration. And then in 2020, I was, I think, like 24 years old, I started this current company and I wanted to create a online coaching business which would give me the freedom that I wanted because I was actually pregnant at the time for my child, so I have now a two-year-old daughter. I wanted to have the freedom of working when, wherever and whenever because um, I was becoming a mom. So um, I struggled for two years to make that business profitable. I already had sold over a thousand online courses, but I couldn't pay myself even a salary. And that's what that was because I was spending so much money on Facebook ads and I was hosting dozens of webinars and I like I said I sold a lot of online courses but I couldn't pay myself salary because all the money that came in went straight to the ad agency and also Facebook and and yeah so I was really like uh, struggling to make it profitable and at one point my business was already at loss with uh, 7000 euros which is close to seven thousand dollars as well i needed to change something like i couldn't just continue selling those low price courses and if i wanted to continue in business because it was really i was really struggling because all the money that i had put in was my own personal money like there wasn't investors or anything like that so at that point i just needed to come up with an idea which would bring me fast profit so that i can continue my business and when I, when I had that moment, I actually came up with my first premium offer. And the first offer was for retail chains who have mostly female sales teams selling, for example, clothes or cosmetics or beauty salons. So I did this like sales training for other women uh, selling for other women. So it was really like a, from women to women motivation and sales training and that's uh, what I did and I got really big huge clients like the one of the biggest chain in Nordic uh, Europe from Finland to also trained some Baltic stores and store managers and it was really huge and I thought that I would actually scale that for a bit but then I remembered like okay this isn't the freedom that I wanted like I wanted to build the freedom also not to go there to the stores, train them, like be this consultant. So I needed to combine the learnings that I got from selling online courses and then the lessons that I got from selling this B2B sales training to these companies. So that's what I did and then I created the first like premium offer which was fully online and I already made like the first 60k in in the first month I was selling it so that's when I saw like okay this is working and and that's what I now need to do and the price point at the beginning was like it was two thousand dollars and then we have now several offers and the highest we recently closed a twenty five thousand uh, dollar client so that's why how we have been able to quickly raise the prices as well. I would say that my biggest failure definitely was to start with the lower price point. Like I should have not tried to get hands off with selling online courses right away, but maybe do more like one-on-one -on -one consulting and all already put the high price point in the from the beginning and sell it organically not use paid ads right away like now we could use paid ads but we actually have grown to this point totally organic but the thing was that in the beginning it would have been more easy for me if i had just learned the organic ways on selling and not rely totally on ads and also having the higher price point so i think that was the biggest mistake that i can see now that i made and with that would have already made it so much quicker for me to make the business profitable since the beginning the biggest success i would definitely say that every time when our clients come with some personal wins for example this one woman who had sold her 
offers and her services with like nine dollars per month like really really cheap and she was struggling to like even take her dog to a veterinarian when she came to me and said like now i'm not afraid to take my dog to to the vet because i know that i can <laughs> pay pay for it like that kind of personal success stories that our clients get like those are all, all always like the biggest wins for me and also now that we have the team so every time when our team members are really achieving their goals, it makes me happy. So that's what I celebrate our clients and our team members wins. Actually, I am not currently reading anything, but I have a few books that I should be reading, <laughs> like that are on my li list. And, but what I could say from the past that have been really um, game changers in my own career would have been um, Grant Cardone's The 10x Rule. I think that really was the first time that I started looking at higher and bigger goals. And I like that the way that he says that he regrets not having higher goals when he was young. And now that we have both read it, at a young age we can already set our goals really high and not regret it later. I used to have really re regular typical goals and now I think I, I really can dream bigger and think that I can also ach achieve those dreams. And also another book that I really uh, would recommend is The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. I really liked that one because it really also opened my eyes to the ways of thinking, thinking differently and how to get leverage through different type of, types of uh, things in, in your business. Most of our clients are still from Finland. We are just now starting to scale and grow to the US and we have a new sales person helping with us that, with that. But um, really like we have only sold today to Finnish people and uh, European people. So I, I don't see that as an issue, but I don't know with the US market if that's going to be an issue. Let's see. I hope not. And I'm all, all the time now practicing my English so that it could be more native. So I think it's not going to be a problem. And we have our own way of doing in Europe. So I think it's also something unique and different um, to the US market as well. I think that that's just part of my life like I can't imagine my uh, days differently because I've started this business while I was pregnant so I've never had any anything else and definitely um, what I've needed to think about is the, to be more effective and efficient with my time that I work so I've never really worked all day all night for this business so it's been typical work days from 8 to 4 because I want to spend time with my daughter in the afternoons but also my husband was with our daughter when she was smaller at home and also when I was able to work from home it was really like not an issue but yeah I wouldn't say that um, it's a problem if you have children and you want to build a business but you just need to be maybe more efficient with your time so that when you're working you are actually taking the things forward so I think it made me even better entrepreneur Ever since I started posting, like I've been on Instagram for 10 years already, but ever since I started um, showing up more and tell, telling like I'm doing this, like I started to do this career girl community for other women. And when I started that, like people started talking like, who is she? Like, who, who does she think she is? Like, how can she create that type of community? Like she doesn't even have a career. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Like this is terrible, but I just kept going. But the worst moment was for me when this current company, we got the first hater, like the real hater. And I was actually shocked and it felt like physically and mentally it was so terrible. But after that, when I've got any kind of criticism, like it never felt as bad as then. So you just need to grow and like it's it's definitely difficult and hard in the beginning. But if you look at your own role models and like other entrepreneurs and you go look at those big influencers 
um, comment boxes like you see so much hate in there and that's what I go there and look and see and okay and these people are still going and they are still posting and they don't care about it so I'm like okay well I just need to accept that and not everyone is going to accept what I do and how I do it so I think it's definitely hard but you can cope with it when you just continue and go through it Well, it was somebody who we worked with. The person actually started posting on this like public Facebook group and it didn't even include my name, but it was just like I don't even remember if it was that or the fact that the person actually sent me really hateful messages uh, on my email. So I think I don't remember which one it was, but it was like totally terrible situation like the emails messages and also the posts on the Facebook groups so I've had that happen like it's bad <laughs> My biggest goal is definitely to impact people in a level of a billion dollar entrepreneur or a company. So what I mean by that, like I would really like to gain a net worth of billion dollars. If you think about it in a way like who else are doing that, like we all know those billionaires and for example there's Oprah who I look up to really much. So I would definitely like to be someone as wise, as powerful, as influential than Oprah. And that is why I uh, mentioned the number goal also behind it. But I don't know if I will do it through this company that we currently have and I currently have. But maybe in the future I will have several companies in my own portfolio. And that's what we are actually planning right now, now with my husband who is also an entrepreneur. So starting to uh, buy other companies as well. So I think that's really exciting for me because I'm, I'm just passionate of making money. I love making money and also like building businesses. And that's what I really want to share to other women as well. Like don't be afraid to <laughs> love making money because that's what you need to do in order to build your business. Like that's just how, how it is. And, and yeah, so I think just impacting more people and and all over the world that's my definitely my long term goal my plan right now is to grow this business first to eight figures so making 1 million plus per month and we currently are making uh, about 100,000 euros or dollars per month so like we need to 10x this company before I have the capital and resources and also the time because uh, at that point I really um, think that we are going to have the team uh, free up my own time to go and do something else as, so that I could be the advisor of this current company Smart Mentoring that I'm now running and being the CEO of. But um, after that, I really think that investing and buying other companies and like building a portfolio of different companies and that's the way to build a net worth of like one billion dollars, I think. Like that's what I think right now. Like I don't know what it will be at the end, but I'm still 26 years old today, so I don't think I'm in a rush to figure it out. I would say that you need to be resilient. Accept that you're going to hear a lot of no's. There's going to be so many people and like there's going to be so many moments where you are like okay nobody's interested in what I have to offer and what I have to say but you just need to keep going. I really think things in like a long-term game. I'm still young so I was really impatient like I still am but like I try to think in like decades like what what I would like to be in 10 years in 20 years Years. So for example in, in 10 years I will be 36 so maybe I then have time to uh, work out more and do more of the things that I now can't do. So when you think things in a long term you're not so depressed if you don't achieve what you want in a short period of time. And also um, I would just say that don't let anything stop you from putting yourself out there and showing up because there's so many people who are coming and trying to
get you to stop like i've had that i've had the negativity also from social media what is there to gain if you stop like there's like i don't know who who wins then like you either do what you're supposed to do you fulfill your mission and your your purpose in this world or you don't and i really think that um doing doing what you just want is the <laughs> only one option that there is so stop wasting your time just start doing already what you are supposed to do because i think that we all know that we have this thing inside like we know what we need to be doing it's like um starting your own business or whatever but just start now because in 10 years you will be so much further